Okay, uh, unit 24, uh, questions um, 75 and uh, 76. And so, uh, you know, I'm just going to draw a couple of uh, boxes here um, and the uh, little thing inside uh, just to symbolize uh, the meaning of uh, this problem. So the question is the induced charge on the outer surface of the small sphere. Induced charge, I think we talked about, uh, it feels like it was a long time ago, but I've been <laughs> working on giving you all these problem, problems on video uh, in one day. We'll see if it's uh, possible. But um, some time ago, <laughs> we talked about induced dipoles and, um, and how uh, a charge can uh, create a separation in charge in other uh, structures, other molecules, and here we're seeing an example of this in physics. So that minus Q charge, just by its existence, what it's going to do is even without touching the, um, the, uh, the metal or the cylinder conductors, um, it's going to repel any negative charges uh, on the inside. So because this is negative, it's going to repel any negative charges on the inside and send them to the outside of the charge thing. So in the inside, you're going to be left with positive charges because uh, materials have um, a free uh, roaming electrons. And so as soon as they're presented with a negative charge, those roaming electrons are going to go, psh, you know, in a metal. And, uh, and so this outside is negative and this inside part is going to be positive. And this creates a domino effect because once this is negative, it's going to push the electrons from this side over to the other side. And then this will be positive and then this is negative and then because this is negative it pushes the electrons boom on the other side and so whatever the charge um, that you presented here minus q you're going to end up with plus q on the inside minus q on the outside plus q minus q plus q and that will just go on and on domino effect no matter uh, how many layers uh, that you um, have so the question um, uh, 75 um, the induced charge on the outer surface of the smallest sphere on, on the smallest sphere is and it will be equal to minus Q because that was the charge that pushed it there you know you know another way to think about charge by the way you, you can think about charge as um, depending on the number of particles and the charge on each particle so depending on the number of particles and the charge on each particle and if you have the movement of uh, free electrons, in a, as you do in a metal, um, then you quickly get this induced dipole. Uh, so you have something that was neutral before. It is still neutral overall, but you have a separation of charge, and that is what a dipole is. And you induced it by putting this negative uh, charge here. And then the second uh, question, uh, the induced charge on the outer surface of the largest sphere, so way out here, uh, what would that be equal to? And of course, that's still equal to minus Q. Um, so 76 is D.